Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about some more ways to use multiple amplifiers in the same preset. In the previous video on the topic I was focused more on combining multiple amplifiers and layering them to create new sounds, richer sounds, but today I'm going to be focused on how you can use amplifiers in what people would traditionally think of as a channel switching system. So you could have a clean and a dirty channel or a clean, a crunch and a distorted channel. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do that. The first method I'm going to show you is what I think of as an AB switcher. So it's like you're switching between two completely different amplifiers. Think of it sort of like if you had a Fender Twin and a Marshall stack and you wanted to use the Fender for your clean and the Marshall for your dirty. So let's see how to do that with Helix. So we're going to start off on an empty preset here. Use whatever input you like to use for yourself. I always like to throw a volume pedal at the beginning of every one of my chains. So that's just habit that I always take care of. Let's set it to logarithmic. Now we are ready to go for the first method. So I'm going to come over here to the end of the first chain and I'm going to add an amp and cab block. So right here, amp and cab together. So we're going to throw on there the Fender Twin. I'll just use the normal channel. So we have a Fender Twin, and you can see that's through a 212 cabinet. Now I'm going to come down here to the second line, and I'm going to add my Marshall amp. So again, I'm going to come down here to Amp and Cabinet, select Guitar, and come down here, and let's grab, say, the... Brit Plexi, and let's just use the jump channel for this demonstration. So I have the Brit Plexi jump channel, and you can see that's through a 412 cab with green backs on it. We don't want both amps on at the same time, so I'm going to press the bypass button here, and that turns off the second amplifier. Next thing we need to do is adjust this output block, set it to path 2A. Here you'll see it shows this arrow dropping down. Now very important, you need this one to show an X. This one has to show an X. So if I select it, the X means none. You must have an X. This is a very common mistake people make is they don't have this X and they get some strange sounds through it. Let's set up the actual switching. So I'm going to hit my mode switch here, which will put me into stomp mode. I have no stomps assigned, so the whole screen is blank. Let's say, just so you can see me press this button, I'll choose this button here as my channel switching button. So this button here selects amplifiers. You can see as I press it, it switches between the Marshall and the Fender. So I'm going to have my Fender selected, and I'm going to lightly rest my finger on this button till the Helix asks me, do you want to assign the bypass? And I'm going to press that switch to assign the bypass. Now let's switch over to the other amp. So I have the Marshall selected exact same switch. I'm going to rest my finger on it lightly till it says do you want to bypass? I'll push the button for OK. So now this says multiple. I could rename it in the editor or something like that but just for this video I'll leave it. So now when I press this button you can see it switches between the Fender being on and the Marshall being on and only one of them is on at a time. So this is how I switch between amplifiers. So I'm switching between a Fender Twin with a 212 cab and a Marshall Plexi with a 412 cab. A modification we could do to this is to allow room for more effects before the amplifiers. So I only have room for six effects blocks between my volume pedal and my amplifier. I might want more room than that. So what I'm going to do is go to this block. I'm going to press the action button here to pick it up and I'm just going to drop it down a line so it's here. I'll press the action button again to put it down. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this split block. I'm going to press action to pick it up and I'm going to move it over. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to press in my selector knob and I'm going to change it to an AB block. So now that it's an AB block I want to change the split. I'm going to turn it all the way so it's B100. That means no signal is going to go straight through. All the signal is going to route through this lower path and through the amplifier. Now we can put lots of blocks out here, throw your distortions out here. If you run out of room there, you can now also place blocks on this line. You might want to throw a delay on there. Maybe you even like to stack delays. So you throw another delay on there. 
but it gives you room to put seven more effects on this top line and seven more effects on this line. And all of those effects will feed the input of the fender when that's on. And when you switch it to the Marshall, all of those effects also feed the input of the Marshall. Then you have room on this line to put more effects after both amps and you can even split this line to do things there. The next one I'm going to show you is the same. It's also an AB style system, but it's using snapshots to switch between the two different amplifiers instead of a foot switch. So we're going to start right where we left off with the previous example and continue from there. I'm going to start off on my clean amp here so that the clean amp is selected. Let's press the mode button to go back to my home screen. Now on my home screen, I have it set up so that I have four presets across the top row and four snapshots across the bottom row. You could set yours up differently. I'm going to have snapshot one as my clean snapshot and snapshot two as my dirty snapshot. This is pretty easy. So for snapshot one, we're already set up with my clean amp is on and my dirty amp is off. So let's switch over to snapshot two. See nothing has changed, but I'm going to press my mode button. I'm going to go back over here and press my amp selector so now clean is off and dirty is on. Let's hit the mode button to go back to my home screen. Now I'm going to pull back a little bit and you can see snapshot 2 as the marshal is on and the clean is off. And I switch back to snapshot 1, I now have the clean is on and the marshal is off. So now my snapshots can switch between my two amplifiers. This last example is what I would think of as a three channel amp. So it's for when you wanna have a clean, a crunch, and a dirty channel. There's a lot of ways to do this. I'm just gonna show you one way that I do it using snapshots so you can easily switch between the three amplifiers. I'm gonna start off with a clean preset with my volume block at the beginning like I always do. Now for this, we're going to do this so that we can save some DSP. You can certainly do it with whole amplifiers, but I usually like to save some DSP here. So I'm not going to use the amp and cab block. I'm going to use just the amp block. So I'm going to switch over. Let's say I want to set up the three channels of a Mesa Boogie Mark IV. So I'm going to grab the Rhythm 1 channel, and you'll notice the icon is different than amp and cab. It looks like just a head instead of looking like a combo amp. Now I'm going to do the same thing give myself lots of room to put effects before my amplifiers. So I'm gonna drop it down a line. I'm gonna pick up my split block and move it over. I'm gonna change its type to be an AB. And I'm gonna change it so that the split is 100% to the B side so that nothing goes straight through that short path. Very important, make sure you route it fully to the B side or you'll get strange dry sounds coming through. Now I need to get channel two so I'll come down here to my amp only blocks for guitar and I'll scroll down here to my channel two and this is my crunch channel. So I have my clean channel and my crunch channel. Remember we don't want them on at the same time so I'm just gonna bypass the crunch channel for now. Okay, now I'm gonna come down here to the second line and I'm gonna add my third. So let's go down here to the amp only blocks, go into guitar, scroll down to the Cali 4 lead, and this will be my lead channel. So now I have three amps, I'm also gonna bypass that, so I only have one active at a time. I now need to add my speaker cabinet. So we can come down here to the speaker cabinet only, and for now I'm just gonna add a single cabinet, but you can add dual cabs or cab splits or whatever you want, and let's just throw on the 412 Mesa Boogie cab that has vintage 30s in it. So I got that on there. It's got a ribbon mic on it, which I really like. So now we have our channels all going through a single speaker. Now we need to set up the channel switching. So I'm going to do this with snapshots because for me that's the easiest way to do a three channel amplifier, but you can set it up however you like. So this is going to be real easy here. I'll go to snapshot two and I want this to be my crunch channel. So I'm going to cycle through my amps here. I'm going to turn off the clean amp and I'm going to turn on the crunch amp. So now I have snapshot one is my clean amp and snapshot two is my crunch amp. Let's switch over to snapshot three. I'm going to bypass the crunch amp. I'm going to come down here to the lead amp and I'm going to turn it on. So now this is real easy. Snapshot one clean, 
snapshot two, crunch, snapshot three, lead. Now the great thing about Helix is you can mix and match. So let's say I didn't like the sound of the Mesa Boogie Clean for this particular preset. I could switch back over to my snapshot one, which is my clean snapshot. Then I can change this amplifier to be something else. Let's say I wanted some of that Vox sound, chimey Vox as my clean sound. So now I have that. So let's switch over here to my lead snapshot. Maybe I didn't like the Cali 4 lead sound. So let's switch over to that amp block and let's change it. Maybe what we actually wanted was the dual rectifier lead sound. So now I have a three channel amplifier that has a Vox as my clean, the Mesa Boogie Mark IV as my crunch, and the Mesa Boogie dual rectifier as my lead sound. So all the effects that I put on these top lines, just like before, those will feed all three channels of my amplifiers, and all the things I put on the bottom after this other amplifier will take the output of all three channels of my virtual amplifier here. So there are a couple of different ways you can use the Helix to do channel switching type of situations. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video.